jumping on the bed. Or I'm like, this is how you do boogie. Get off the bed. 30 years ago, Michael Donahue disappeared at the age of four, vanished from a Victoria Park. His family, nearby. Around behind the cars, towards the park. You don't know if he got there or not? We didn't see him get to the park, no. Now, on the anniversary of his disappearance, the Victoria Police Department has released a new age-enhanced forensic sketch, what Donahue might look like at the age of 34. We've gone 30 years without knowing where Michael is. So if someone recognizes the, the new sketch of Michael or knows anything, any little piece of information that can help us find closure, bring Michael back to us, that's all, that's all we're asking. Dunahee's disappearance kicked off an extensive search, hundreds of volunteers. Over the years, police have received more than 10,000 tips, but the case was never solved. Someone out there knows what happened to Michael 30 years ago today, and we need to hear from that person. The sketch was created by a forensic artist who worked closely with the Dunahee family, as well as investigators. It's actually a big honor to be part of this investigation because I remember it well when Michael disappeared, as we all do here. Um, not just the investigators, the, the whole province of British Columbia and Canada and the world were gripped by Michael's disappearance. For Michael's family, it's been 30 years of grief. You know, I'm the father, this is my family, and I let, how can, you know, there's nothing I can do to get my son back, like actually physically do, to get out there and there he is, grab him and bring him home. And that's gonna be one of the worst feelings anybody could have, not being able to protect your family. The wound from 1991, still aching today. 30 years, it has been a long time. I, me and the wife both think that we hope it never would have lasted this long, but we gotta keep, keep looking because we gotta find our son. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.